6 versus Moto G6 speed test coming up right now. Let's go. The iPhone 6 versus the Moto G6 speed test. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in 3, 2, 1, and see which one can get there first. So you can see that Motorola sign really quickly here. Now, the reason this video comes is because we did the SC versus the Moto G6, and many people requested, I want to see the iPhone 6 versus that phone. This is running iOS 12, the beta, but don't worry because the beta is actually a little bit faster than iOS 11. And over here, we have Android 8.0 Oreo for the Moto. The little Moto boot animation is coming up and the Moto is in first. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is that these phones are four years apart, but if you do buy the Motorola, it's gonna be a little bit more than the iPhone 6. The 6 is like 199, this one's like 250 here for the Moto G6. So the Moto wins on the boot up test. So both of these phones do have fingerprints on their lock screen. So let's go ahead and see which one is quicker. Three, two, one. And you can see that's the Moto a little bit quicker. Again, three, two, one and the Moto is a little bit quicker, whereas the iPhone has maybe a little bit of a smoother animation. So it comes down to speed versus that fluid animation. So that's really gonna come up to your personal preference, but in terms of performance, the Moto is faster there. Okay, so we have arrived at the application portion of the speed test. Do keep in mind three gigs of RAM here on the Moto G6 Snapdragon 450. So it is the budget range CPU, but the iPhone 6 is also in the budget range and the price point. Let's go ahead and begin with the calendar, three, two, one. And you could see that's to the iPhone 6 coming home. Let's go into clock and you could see that's to the iPhone 6. Let's go into calculator, iPhone 6 there. Let's go into settings and you could see that one's the Moto. Let's go into Play Store, App Store. And you could see that's the Moto G6 quite significantly over the iPhone 6. Let's go into Instagram. And you could see Instagram is first on the right. And you can go into your menus already and here on the iPhone 6 on the left. So the Moto doing pretty good against the 6. Didn't do so well against the SE. Let's go into Snapchat. And you can see Snapchat is ahead for the Moto G6. Let's go into WhatsApp. And you can see WhatsApp is first on the right over the iPhone 6, let's go into YouTube. And YouTube is first on the right once again, maybe? No, that might've been the iPhone 6 on the full load first. Let's go ahead and just go over here to the trending tab. And you could see iPhone 6. So once in the app, the iPhone 6 performs rather well, so does the G6, but that was to the iPhone 6 on the load. Let's go into Netflix, three, two, one. And you could see Netflix is open first on looks like the Moto g6 and then on the iphone 6 let's go into amazon and see which one can start shopping first i think it's going to be the moto g6 here on this one and we're still waiting on the iphone 6 let's go into ebay that one didn't i missed that one on ebay for the iphone 6 let's do that again ebay three two one and you can see ebay is open first on the right for the moto g6 and here comes the iPhone 6. Let's go into games now. Maybe the iPhone 6 can come back here. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And you could see a little bit of a lag there on the Moto G6 load, but it's okay. It's still loading the game. Let's see which one gets there first. That is, wow, that was pretty close. I think that was about a draw. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let's go into Dead Trigger. See which one could start playing this game first. This is a more graphically intensive load here on this device or on this game right here. So you can see iPhone 6 is ready to go. And there is the Moto G6. So we have a win here, I think, to the iPhone. Yes, the iPhone 6, four-year-old phone, loads a more graphically intensive game first over a brand new phone from 2018. And you would think budget phones, yes, it is. this was initially released as a flagship phone, but you would think by now budget phones could easily beat older flagship phones like from 2014 but not the case in that one let's go to subway surfers and see which one can win here in subway surfers and looks like neither are going too quick but the moto g6 has the load first and here comes the iphone 6 no where's the iphone 6 Okay, it looks like we have a win here to the Moto G6 on this game. So they're flip-flopping here when it comes to which one loads which first. Looks like the casual game went to the G6. Then the more graphically intensive game went to the iPhone 6. Let's go into Slither. See which one can load this first. Another little glitchy pause-looking thing when you were loading there 
on the Moto G6. Moto G6 wins this one, but once you're in that app screen, then it's about the same performance here on both. Let's go into the video shop and you can see Moto G6 here ahead of the iPhone 6. Let's go into Geekbench. And you can see Geekbench is first on the iPhone 6. Let's go into Speed Test. And you can see Speed Test is first for the Moto G6, then the iPhone 6 and Chrome. And let's go ahead and open up ESPN 321 and see which one does open first. That is the Moto G6. And there's the iPhone 6 again, fast scroll, smooth scroll on iPhone. Uh, iPhone 6 taking a little bit of time to load there. So that's the single round of applications. Overall, I think the Moto G6 is a little bit quicker and snappier than the iPhone 6. But the iPhone 6, not bad for a four-year-old phone in terms of comparison to the Moto G6. It kind of held its own. I mean, it didn't beat it, but it was pretty close, even though it has an A8 and only one gig of RAM. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and just run through them and see if we get any reloads in Chrome. The iPhone 6 reloads right off the bat, one gig of RAM versus three gigs. Let's go into speed test, and you could see about the same there. Let's go into Geekbench, about the same there. Video Shop, both have that open. Slither, Moto G6 holds that. iPhone 6 has to reload that. Do a little reachability action there. Let's go into Subway Surfers, and they both have to reload. Subway Surfers, we don't have to wait on this reload. We just need to see if it's actually reloading. Dead Trigger 2, and you could see the Moto G6 back to the home screen. So that's not really holding it in the background. Here's where you suffer a little bit with you know budget phones. You don't get great RAM management. And both have to reload Jetpack Joyride eBay. And you could see eBay reloads on both. Let's go to Amazon. And iPhone 6 has that open while the Moto G6 has that closed. What about Netflix? And you can see iPhone 6 has that open. Moto G6 had that closed. Let's go into YouTube. You can see iPhone 6 had that open as well. Moto G6 had that closed. Let's go into WhatsApp. And that's a reload for both. Snapchat. iPhone 6 had that. Instagram. iPhone 6 had that. It looked like the Moto G6 reloaded that. What about App Store Play Store? Now it's about the same. What about settings and iPhone 6 calculator? iPhone 6, I think there, clock, and about the same calendar. So iPhone 6 there. So not too much of a difference. Both are pretty terrible when it comes to this RAM management. But the iPhone 6 had a few of the single, you know, you know, social media apps, had a few of these open where I feel like the Moto G6 reloaded more but the iphone 6 reloaded right off the bat so neither one of these are great in a ram management department but it's a little bit disappointing three gigs of ram you know had that many applications closed that just goes to show that android needs at least four to six gigs just to keep apps open in the background okay so the final scores are in pretty interesting results the iphone 6 beats the moto g6 handily in the single core scores 1866 on the multi-core, 3327 for the G6. And that kind of is what it seemed like it was performing like in our speed test. And the iPhone 6 was keeping up probably due to its higher, you know, single core score. But the Moto G6 gets a higher multi-core. So it's kind of half and half. They're split there. And one last test before we end this video, the camera. So opening up the cameras, you can see looks like the iPhone 6 is a little faster to open that camera up. Again, three, two, one. And you can see iPhone 6 is going to take that photo quicker than the Moto G6. Now, if it's a better camera, that's a question for another day. If I get a bunch of comments about that, we'll consider making the camera comparison. But anyway, that's it. The Moto G6 versus the iPhone 6 speed test. I was pretty disappointed with the Moto G6's performance in the SE, and it doesn't beat the iPhone 6 that easily either. I think it does win slightly over the iPhone 6, but not by a lot here at all. And the iPhone 6 held its own for being a four-year-old phone. It's a pretty close one here between these two. Anyway, which one would you go with? The iPhone 6 or the Moto G6? Comment your thoughts down below. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. 